So if you haven't watched my video on why you should be flossing, I suggest you stop this one right now and go back and watch that one first. Um, but say you've done it and you're ready to give it a go and you really want to make sure you're flossing every single day like you should. Um, you go to the supermarket and suddenly this is what you get. A whole truckload of little bits and things that you can use to floss your teeth. So how do you pick what, which one is best for you? How do you use them? And today we're going to talk a little bit about this. So one of my favorites for cleaning in between the teeth will be um, this one here. We talked about this one before on the, um, on the floss video and I'll show you how to use it. So um, this one here, the, the Reach Excess Flosser, um, it comes in a pack, disposable little heads. Um, the way you use it, very, very simple. Um, it should be used almost like a, a toothbrush. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna use it in between your teeth one by one. Now the trick with using these ones here is that you've got to remember you're only cleaning the teeth properly if you're pulling it against the side of your tooth. So you really want to make sure you are flossing against the surface of the tooth. Go back in and do the other side. So remember you've got two surfaces you need to clean, two sides here and you're pulling it again. So they're quite good. They're very very handy um, for people who have big chubby, chubby fingers, you really can get back in there. It's also good for parents who want to floss their kids' teeth because they're very easy to see where you're going. So I would say this is definitely worth a try. Um, my opinion, the only disadvantage is you've got to keep buying, uh, remember to keep buying the disposable heads. Now, another one you should definitely give a try is the floss mate. Floss mate is a little bit more difficult to find, but, but once you do, um, they're quite good too. So little handle. We spoke about this one in my previous video, so you grab yourself a bit of floss, um, tie it up. So you just loop it around the base, like this. Go up and across and back. Flossing in between the teeth. Remember to pull it, push it, that way you're cleaning both surfaces of your teeth. I quite like this one. Um, nice big thick handle, great for the kids. They can really see where they're going. Comes in lots of different colors. You can use whatever floss you like um, with flavoring, uh, tape or plain floss. Um, it's up to you. Um, so there's a floss mate, quite good. Now, this will be um, a fancier version of uh, these two gadgets that I showed you. And it's uh, the electric uh, toothbrush version of flosser. So it's called the Hummingbird from Oro Bay um, and again it comes with these little disposable tips that you can use. One is like a little toothpick, the other one it's, um, it's a flosser. You use it the same way. So they're all, they're all quite good. So the last type of floss I'd like to show you is, is this one. It's a, it's a floss set or super grip. Comes in, in, in little packs like this uh, from Pixters. They're quite good. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the pointy, pointy end. If, you, if you're not careful, you can suddenly do a lot of damage to your gums. But um, I really like this, this bit. Uh, the floss is quite soft and um, it goes in very easily. So it slides in very, very easily compared to, to the cheaper ones that you can buy at, uh, at the $2 shop. So uh, just keep that in mind. This is one of those things where saving a dollar or two is, is really not worth it. Now, we talked about flossing and, and all the little different floss handles that you can buy. So click the like button if you find this video useful. Don't forget to comment and subscribe.